Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. We're launching a whole new suite of time-lapse tools. The first is Light Lapse. It's an iOS application that automatically adjusts your camera's exposure during sunsets and sunrises so you can capture day to night, holy grail time lapses. Now, if you wanted to do this before, you had to basically either manually control your camera for each stop or use what's a $400 computer. Now, all you need is a camera and your iPhone. The first step is to connect the app to your camera. Right now we support Canon, Sony, and Nikon. We're working on Panasonic and Fujifilm. I've already turned on Wi-Fi, and this is a Sony A7S, and all I have to do is press connect. And as soon as it connects, I'm gonna get a live preview of my camera's exposure. At 1 500th of a second and 100 ISO, I feel pretty good about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna press test shot. Let's make that full screen. Ooh, okay, I need to check my focus. So I'm gonna go back and actually check my focus. Take another test shot. Make sure that looks good before I start my time lapse. All right, so you'll notice the other settings you have in Light Lapse are your duration and your video length. Now, if you don't upgrade Light Lapse, you can do up to a one hour duration. If you do upgrade it, you can do as long as you want. So let's just say I wanna do a three hour time lapse and let's do a 20 second time lapse. Now, if I wanted to start this, all I would do is press go and it would start triggering my camera. Let's go through a quick walkthrough of the settings of Light Lapse. So let's click on the settings icon. What we have here is maximum shutter speed, maximum ISO, classic mode, auto expose and rove. So shutter speed, with this time lapse, I'm probably gonna do a 15 second max shutter speed. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a shorter interval so I can get more photos. If I was out somewhere where it's gonna be super dark, I would wanna put this closer to 25 or 30 seconds, but I want more photos. Max ISO, I'm comfortable going all the way up to 51,000 with my A7S, I'll leave that there. Classic mode, if you turn it on, if you go back to the settings, you have interval and you have number of shots instead of duration and video length. So if you program your time lapse that way, go ahead and choose that mode. I prefer the normal mode that we use. Auto expose is on. That means that I want this to adjust the exposure dynamically as the light changes. But if I was doing a normal time lapse, I would turn this off and that would basically give me a normal intervalometer with my phone. Now, if I connect Rove, let me power Rove on real quick. Connect to it. It's gonna give me two options. I can do choose my direction and I can position Rove to the, each end of the slider. All right, now that we've dialed all the settings in the Light Lapse app, let's talk about what settings you need to adjust in your camera to get a great time lapse. So first and foremost, you need to make sure that you have manual control. That means you have manual focus on. So I have a full manual lens right now, so I don't have to worry about that. But if you have an autofocus lens, make sure it's turned to manual. Next up, I wanna make sure that my white balance is actually set. So make sure it's not on auto white balance. You don't want that white balance shifting around from shot to shot. Okay, next up, I wanna find something called long exposure noise reduction. Make sure that is off. If that is on, it's gonna take a couple extra seconds after it takes a photo, and the camera's gonna to try to remove some of that noise. You're gonna do that in post-processing in Lightroom, so make sure it's off. All right, three more tips before we start our time lapse. They're pretty simple, but they'll screw up your time lapse if you don't do it right. Make sure that you have enough battery to last the duration of the time lapse. Make sure that you have enough space on your SD card and make sure that your focus is pulled. I do that by punching in, make sure all the buildings are in focus, everything looks good. All I have to do is press go. Let's check, check back in. It's been about two hours into our day to night time lapse. One of the great things about light lapse is that you're actually able to preview your time lapse 
while it's happening. So let's turn our phone sideways, press the play button, and we can actually preview it in real time. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's give it another hour or two and see what the whole thing looks like. 